I was scrolling through Reddit last week when I came across this post. Who knew that a diamond player using an off-meta build could make a champion look OP in silver flex Q? But just because someone is smurfing doesn't mean that the pick isn't viable. So, what if we replace the diamond player with an average yellow player? This is what happens when a gold jungle main tries to play a champion that Faker says is kinda hard. Which champions would you say you're not the best at? 요즘에 갱 클래클이 좀 많이 해보는데 어 화면 할수록 좀 어렵더라고 그래도 그래도 좀더 많이 해봐야 될것 같고 지금은 잘 못하는 것 같아요. Welcome to Garbage Tier Guides, Part Zero. How do I even play this champion? Gangplank is up there with Nasus when it comes to CS intensity. By locking in this champion, you have committed to playing League of Legends and Farming Simulator at the same time. This is because of GP's Silver Serpent's mechanic. Even though this level up button appears at level 11 and 16, it doesn't actually do anything when you click it. The real way to rank up your ultimate is by spending 500 serpents at the shop. Just like Nasus, you get your stacks, or serpents, by last hitting minions with your Q. But unlike Nasus, GP has been balanced around last hitting many minions at once by detonating your E with your Q. On top of that, your barrels are one of your main trading abilities. But as a catch, your enemy can also last hit your keg. So how do I stop this from happening? I loaded up this helpful guide. You place guide. the barrel, you place the other barrel, and you queue the first barrel. Place a barrel, you place the other barrel, you queue the first barrel and directly land the third barrel in the desired location. What you do is that you place a barrel and you queue it. You must be outside the queue range, so Gangplank has to walk towards that barrel. And when when you see the queue animation pop off, directly land the other barrel in the target location. The last two combos are the two parts. Part one: Game setup. Here are the runes. Take flash and whatever for summon a spell. Even though you are going AP. You still max Q into E into W. Build Lich Bane into Night Harvester into anything that sounds neat. I just think they're neat. You can play this pick top or mid. Part 2, Laning Phase. Since by now I've practiced all my barrel combos, I know exactly what to do. Time my barrels when minions are low, then hit the enemy and the minions at the same time until they're low enough to finish off. Fun fact, there is a typo in Gangplank's barrel description. Because of an interaction with the way Kane's W is coded, this typo has been reducing barrel damage by 99%. As I was saying, until they're low enough to finish off. Part 3, Mid and Late Game. Once you unlock your ult, things get fun. This is where you see the biggest difference between AP and AD Gang Plank. With AP GP, your ult is the majority of your damage, so while you can try to join the team fight and land some barrels, you can do the majority of your damage from anywhere on the map while checking on your crop timers and trying to get your first upgrade before 20 minutes so that you don't get reported. On the other hand, since your ult is so important, please resist the urge to blindly guess where the low health enemy jungler might have run off to. It's better to use your ult to damage multiple enemies in a team fight. That being said, here's a montage of GP's late game damage. Fun fact, did you know that Tchaikovsky put together the 1812 Overture in six weeks after complaining that he was not a conductor of festival pieces and tried to make it as loud and obnoxious as possible? Okay, to wrap things up. Fun to play? 4 out of 5. OP score, 2 out of 5. Verdict. I feel like I'm playing Teemo but with extra steps. Comment telling me which build to play next and subscribe for a new video every Friday. Oh shit. Ah, there's more people than I wanted. 
No, wait, I'm blind. <laughs> <laughs> no, the team of troll. The team of troll.